You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. This past year has been so difficult, everyone has been impacted in one way or another. Children have missed a great deal of school and extracurricular activities. Some parents have lost jobs due to work closures, and many have struggled through illness with COVID-19. And sadly, too many have lost their lives to the virus. So for this week of Mother's Day, I find it fitting to recognize the CNA mothers of this country who could not stay home from work, even though schools were closed, who went to work knowing they would be exposed to a deadly virus, and who continued to care for the most vulnerable people in our country in one of our darkest times. Shakira Tillman, a seven-year CNA from Maryland and mother of three, worked at an assisted living facility. Her community was not immune to COVID, and like so many others, Shakira started noticing a decline in the residents just from the isolation and visitor restrictions. Despite workplace changes and precautions put in place, the assisted living facility started recording cases of COVID-19, both residents and staff affected. She noticed her cough on a Wednesday. Shakira said it wasn't until Saturday I just couldn't move, I couldn't go to work. I just felt like everything, my whole body just wanted to lay down and give up. My lungs felt tight and congested. Her home became her ground zero as she was instructed by Wikimiko Health Department to quarantine. Through her aches and trouble breathing, she also worried she put her sons at risk. Two of her boys have asthma. Within days, the 28-year-old mom said her body just wanted to lay down and give up, though sleeping in the wrong position was suffocating. Taste and smell left as nausea and a relentless headache took their place. As for many mothers, this isolation would not prove easy. Shakara and her partner have three children and two full-time jobs between them. The kids, ages of 10, 9, and 6, meant they also had online school. While isolating in her bedroom, Shakara could hear her family through the walls. Despite being so sick, she could barely stand. It was a comfort for her to hear her sons on the computer doing their classes by Zoom and to hear her oldest at the age of 10 keeping the peace among his brothers. It was difficult for Shakira to be just in the next room, yet so far away from her children. She missed hugging and kissing them goodnight. The younger ones couldn't quite understand why their mom was so sick and had to stay in the bedroom. And the 10-year-old feared she would die as he had heard of so many dying on the news. Keeping a strict schedule helped her family keep the balance. Brian, her partner, executed temperature checks with the kids every day while the pair constantly monitored their symptoms. Shakira said she just started to take slow steps trying to get herself better. She tried to eat healthy without taste and she forced herself to work out in the morning and have the whole family get lots of fresh air. After about two weeks, she began to show improvements. 
The rest of her family never showed symptoms and tested negative for the virus. Shakira Tillman is but one example of what CNAs have endured this year, struggles both at work and at home. It was especially complicated for those with children out of school. So to all you CNAs out there who are mothers with school-aged children working through these unprecedented times, thank you for all that you do and make certain to treat yourself especially good this Mother's Day. And to you, Shakira Tillman, thank you for telling your story. You are a CNA hero.